Welcome to our section on Cubase resources and support. Some of the documentation included with your program can seem intimidating. The huge operating manual and PDF files on the DVD. However, you'll find these indispensable as you become more proficient in Cubase. The manuals on your disk are included in your installation and are available via the help menu, Documentation. Getting started, an operation manual were included with your software purchase in print form. Then there are PDF documents that cover remote control devices, plugins, MIDI devices, and menu reference. This last one explains every option available via the menu strip at the top of the screen. It'll go through every single option in case you're interested in learning about Cubase this way. Let's close this PDF document. And now let's go take a look at Steinberg on the web. There's a lot of help available right here, and it's pretty clearly organized. We can get to the Steinberg homepage, the forums at cubase.net, download the latest Cubase updates, and sometimes these are very helpful. Steinberg Service and Support. Let's check this one out. If you're connected to the internet and have an internet browser, you'll be taken to the website. And right from steinberg.net, there's a lot of resources to help you out. If you register your Cubase, you're eligible for support and upgrades, and you can create an account right here. Then all your registrations, active licenses, and activations are listed conveniently under one account. To register Cubase, you need to provide the 12-digit ID number from your Steinberg key, and you can get this from your eLicense Control Center. You launch that from your Programs list on your PC or under Applications on your Macintosh. Let's go back to Help, Steinberg on the web. Most of the rest of these options take you to the exciting Steinberg shopping cart. Let's go back to the support page at steinberg.net. Just make sure you're on the support page. Let's take a look at the section Configuring a DAW. That stands for Digital Audio Workstation. Steinberg provides an excellent and detailed list of optimal and compatible hardware for working with their products. This is a good place to go if you're having some technical trouble and you think it might be hardware or driver related, or if you want to check out what Steinberg has to say about a third-party piece of hardware before you buy it. Check the Steinberg knowledge base if you've got a question that you need answered. The knowledge base is the central product support database for all Steinberg products. It is collected and regularly published by the Steinberg support specialists. There's info on specific problem solving, as well as general hints on system configuration and advice about what to look for when buying system components. You can search by product or keyword, and it's pretty flexible and responsive. Be sure to take advantage of the Downloads page, where you can update your software with the latest updates and drivers, and also download manuals. Here's the latest Cubase hotfix. Let's take a look at the community forums now. Here's Cubase.net. Community forums are a totally awesome way to get immediate help on your specific question. You get to tap the brains of any user out there, and generally, forum users are more than happy to share their thoughts and tips. I recommend that you take advantage of these. Cubase.net is the main forum. Register and create a free account there. You can also check SynthZone for a list of forums, and this is also a great resource. Finally, you're able to contact Steinberg directly for support. You'll need to have registered your product. If you're in the U.S. or Germany, you can submit a request form directly from Steinberg's website. You can also contact a local distributor or support center in your country. Again, you need to register Cubase to be eligible for this support as well. As you can see, there's a lot of information available in both your manuals and online, as well as in social network groups like Facebook and Twitter that can help you get an answer to your question really quickly. Steinberg keeps up-to-date profiles on all of these sites. Here are the support eligibility requirements for contacting Steinberg directly. And this concludes our tutorial about Cubase support and resources and the introductory section of this course. In our next lesson, we'll begin the quick start, how to get up and running and recording your audio and MIDI in Cubase.